The fastest and easiest way to make more money on your Shopify store is not by getting more customers. It's by getting the customers that do shop with you to spend more money in each transaction. And in today's video, I wanna take you through three strategies that I use on my stores that help me increase the average order value on every order that I get. I'm gonna take you through how to add a free gift with purchase when someone spends a certain amount. I'm gonna show you how to create really awesome customized bundles that make people spend more. And the final one is I'm gonna show you how to use multi-buy discounts so people buy more of the same thing with you, increasing that average order value. And the cool thing is that all of this can be done in one single app, which means you don't need to have multiple apps and pay multiple fees to different developers to get this done. So why should you listen to me? I'm Brendan Gillen and I have been in e-commerce for over 15 years and I've worked on thousands of different stores, some multi-million dollar brands, and I run my own seven-figure Shopify store. So I test apps like these all the time so I know what works and what doesn't work. So let's get straight in now and I'll take you through the app that we're going to use today. The app we're going to use is called BOGOs. Now BOGO in the retail world stands for buy one, get one. And this app was initially designed to be a gift with purchase type app where you buy something and you get something, but they have extended it out to all the other strategies I mentioned earlier. Now, the reason I love this app is it's got a 4.9 average rating and it's had over 2000 reviews. And if you know anything about Shopify apps, you always want to install the ones that have more reviews and better ratings because you know it's got the support and there's thousands of other people using it. So that's why I chose this app. The other cool thing is it's got a free trial. So I've put a link down below to the free trial. It's a seven day one, which means you can trial it out and see if it fits what you need. So to install it, we're gonna click start free trial on the bogos.io page. It's gonna take you directly to the Shopify store where you can click install and just go through the standard app install process here. Okay, we're gonna click start free trial and just approve your charges. So this will take us to the Bogos onboarding screen. So we can just go through it and click start onboarding. So it takes you through enabling the app. So we're gonna click enable app embed. This is the same as what we would do with any other sort of app. It's gonna go through to our theme and just ensure that we've enabled this on our theme. Okay, we've got this one enabled, so the tick should be that way. Awesome. So we go back to the app. It's checked that the app embed is enabled. Awesome, let's click next step. Okay, it's gonna start with an offer template. So that is the different types of offers we've got. And I'm gonna take you through these three offers in a moment. So we'll just click next step. And we're gonna choose an offer template. So the first one I wanna do is the Bogos one, which is the spend X to get something. So we're gonna choose that one and we're gonna click start with this template. So in here, we're gonna write what the title of this offer is going to be. So what we're gonna have is spend over $150 to get free boxing wraps. Now I run a boxing store and we sell boxing wraps with our boxing gloves. So this is something we want to do to encourage people to spend more with us. Okay, so we can set a start time and an end time if we want to do that. And now this is where we enter in our conditions. So right here, we've now said that we want to spend over $150 to get free boxing wraps. So here we're going to type the minimum is got to be $150. Okay, and then we're going to set our conditions. So we want this to apply to any products now you can have this apply to um, specific products if you want. So if you just wanna have someone buy one thing and they get a free gift off that, you can certainly do that. And you do that by um, going in here and select the products. So if we go in, let's just say we want it to only apply to a certain set of gloves for us. Uh, we would write the gloves or we'd search for the gloves that we want and we would select them. So it might be, you know, these sort of gloves here. Now there it's a draft, this is just a demo, but you know what I mean, you can choose the ones that you want there. Now we want this to apply to all products, so we're not gonna select any products here. The other actual cool thing you could do here is you can do it based on the brand or the collections or anything like that. So let's just say uh, I want it to apply to all boxing gloves. We would go in here and we type in a collection of boxing gloves. Okay, actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea because there's no point giving away free wraps to people who aren't buying boxing gloves. So I'm actually gonna apply this to boxing gloves, okay? Um, with any boxing gloves, okay? So that means that in this offer, someone has to spend over $150 and they have to buy something from the boxing gloves collection. Okay, so collections, boxing gloves, cool. Uh, now you can add additional conditions in here, such as quantities, you know, cart value conditions or cart quantity options. So really the customization here is absolutely uh, endless and you can really tweak it based on your own business requirements. Uh, and if you wanna do any sub conditions, you can definitely do that. So that is, these are optionals, but these are things like, you know, where are they coming from? You know, what have they bought from us before? 
Have we tagged the customer on anything? Where are they based? Uh, whether they've got a subscription with us or whether they're using a mobile app channel. So there is a whole heap of different conditions here to make sure that this doesn't apply just to everyone. It applies to the exact person that you want to get the free gift, okay? Now, I don't have any subconditions in this instance, but now we talk about what the gift is actually going to be. So we can either give a free gift, we can give a discount off a gift, uh, we can either have as a percentage discount or an amount discount, okay? So right now, we want this gift to be free. So we have a 100% discount. Now we talk about how many gifts uh, we wanna give the person. So I'm gonna select what the gift is and I'm going to do boxing wrap and I'm gonna choose the one that we wanna give away as a free gift. Okay, it's these ones here. And you can choose any variation if you want. Uh, we've got multiple variations of this, so we can just click select. Okay, we can see all these in here. So you can remove them and edit and add as you need in here, but we want our customers to have a choice of what color they want. Okay, there's some advanced configurations if you need it here. You know, this is if we wanna put an add to cart message in there, or we want it to work with other offers in terms of priority. So if you have multiple offers, and we'll see this when we go through the other ones, we can prioritize which one is the best one. So one being the highest priority, 10 being the lowest. Okay, so this is looking good. We've got that all set up. And we're gonna click publish. Great, now you can see I've got some others that I was trialing out here uh, to test. So this one is ready to rock and roll. Now it says to view the offer on the online store, make sure you've got it embedded, which we do, and the status is active. Let's have a look and see whether this works. So we're gonna click view offer. It takes us to our store and it's actually taken us to the collection page, which we have the trigger product in there. So I'm gonna add a pair of boxing gloves to my cart. Now this one boxing glove is $139.95. So that doesn't actually trigger the free gift. So let's just say we wanna add another pair of boxing gloves. We'll add them in. And we can now see the free gift pops up. So I can just choose this, select your free gift. Amazing, these are all zero dollars. And I'm gonna grab some black ones. Great, and so now we can see in our cart, we have uh, these free boxing hand wraps, zero dollars, and we have the two pairs of gloves. So super easy, super cool way to do it. Now I just wanna show you one last little thing on customizing this to make it look the way you want it to look. So I'm gonna just pop it down. So have a look here. Notice that these are sort of a purple color. It doesn't really match my branding. Now we can actually go in and edit this so it fixes our branding. So we're gonna pop back to the app. Uh, that all looks good. Uh, we'll choose offer works perfectly. And then we can just click go back. Uh, and then we're gonna head over to the left here, click customize. And in here we can go in and basically customize the way we want things to look. So you can see here we've got the gift slider, that's the one that we were just looking at. We can also customize all the other ones as well. So when we take you through the other offers in a minute, you know you can come in here and customize these. So we're gonna click gift slider and you can basically see you've got all these settings here. You can change the display by variants or by products. Uh, you can group them differently. You can determine how many products you wanna have in here. Uh, you can do things, you basically do everything that you want. I'm not gonna go through it because there's just so many different options. Uh, it can change the type of text we have in here. Uh, and then what I wanna do is I actually wanna change the colors. So I'm gonna change this one here to be a little bit more red like us. And then this one here, I'm actually gonna make it more red like that. And the cool thing is I can actually see the way it looks. Yeah, that looks much better. That suits our store much, much better. Cool, so we would just click save and then we'll see that that comes up on our store. So that's the free gift with purchase offer. Now there's two other offers that we really love. The second one is the bundles. Let's go and create one of those now. If we head back to all offers and we click create offer, and this time we're gonna choose bundle. Now we've got three different types of bundles. We've got a classic bundle, we've got a quantity break, which we'll do in a second, and then we've got a mix and match. So the classic bundle is where we just bundle a whole heap of products together and sell them for a single price. So let's do that now, create bundle. And we're gonna call this one the beginner boxing bundle. And we're gonna put everything in here for beginner boxes. So the, we can either do a similar thing before, we can have it the discount amount or the discount uh, percentage. Now I'm gonna add some products in here. So I'm gonna do uh, some boxing gloves. I'm gonna choose these ones. And then we're gonna do some shorts. Select, and we're also going to do some wraps. These ones here. Great, so now we've created a bundle, 
And what we can do here is we can decide on the way we want to discount it. So right now, it's not discounted at all. It's all the same price, but with zero percentage off. So we could either make it 50% off when you buy all the products together like that, uh, or we could work out what the amount was. And let's just say I want to make this $100, we would take off $89.95, okay? So now we can see it's $99, all right? So that's sort of how you would set this one up that way. Now everything else uh, pretty much is, is self-explanatory. You don't need to do much more than that. That's what it's gonna look like. And that's how the products are gonna be laid out. And then here you can determine whether you want this to be combined with other discounts, whether they're order discounts or shipping discounts. Now I'm happy for them to be uh, with both of those. So we'll just click publish. We go through the same process now of testing whether or not this works on the store. So I'm gonna test this one and see if it works. Now I did have a little bit of a challenge getting this to work the first time. Uh, we'll see if it works properly this time. So we go to any one of the products that this bundle should apply to, okay? Uh, now actually the free gift has just triggered, so I'm gonna turn that off and I'm just gonna remove these from the cart so it doesn't trigger that for us. Okay, uh, great, we can actually see the bundle here. So you've got these uh, quick route gel wraps, Morgan boxing shorts, and the uh, boxing gloves. So that has worked straight away. Now, when I first tested this app out, it didn't actually work. So I had to contact their customer service. And the cool thing was the customer service was like 24 hours. And this is the benefit of buying an app as opposed to using free apps, is if you buy an app, you're supporting a development team. And that means there's people there to support you because these guys want to get a good rating. They want to make sure the app is really good and they want to make sure you get the best out of it. So I actually sent a message to the app company to say, hey, this wasn't working and they talked me through it. And this is what they did because I'm pretty sure you're going to have the same problem. Uh, it wasn't showing up on this screen. So I went back into my theme. That's what they told me to do. So you want to go back to your online store, you click themes and you have to go in and customize your theme. Now, this is pretty common for a lot of apps now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to choose your product page. I'm just going to do default product. And then what we actually need to do here is we need to add in a little app section here, or an, they call it an app block. Now I've already got these ones here. So you can see you've got quantity break and you've got classic bundles. Now I turned it off so that it wouldn't work for you. So if we turn this on now, what will happen is this will now work on the store for you, all right? Now, if you're not seeing these here, all we do is we click add block, we click over on the right hand side here and we click apps and we choose uh, the, the one that you wanna have added to your store. Now, the cool thing with these sort of blocks is if you've got a product that doesn't have a bundle or anything associated with it, it's not gonna show. It'll only show on the products that you do have, okay? So let's go into the final offer now. We're gonna head back to the app store. We're gonna head back to the app itself and create the next offer. And we're gonna do a multi-buy discount here. So same sort of thing as before. We can either click offers here, and then we're gonna click create offer. And this time we're gonna do a bundle offer again, but we're gonna choose a quantity break. Now these are great offers because you can sell the same thing in multiple quantities. Great if you're selling t-shirts or shorts or underwear or socks or whatever you want, right? If there is a reason for people to buy more than one of your product, these are really, really good because we give a discount if they buy more than one. It helps increase your average order value. So we're gonna click create bundle. And I'm gonna have this uh, buy two shorts for $60, okay? Let's do it that way. Uh, and you can edit anything here and you can see it will just update here. Bundle and save on shorts as an example. You can see it updates there. So you can make this look exactly how you want. All right, similar thing as before, start time and end time. Now we're gonna choose the products that this applies to. So we're gonna actually go in and we're only gonna select a product this time. And I'm gonna select a certain set of boxing shorts. It's gonna be these ones, I'm gonna click select. And we can see we've got all of these in here. So this selects uh, to all the different variations. So in here, we can have different tiers. We can have either a single, double, triple, quadruple, as many as you like. Now, I'm only gonna have two tiers, so I'm gonna remove the third one. If you do wanna add another one, you just click add tier, it's pretty easy. Uh, and I'm gonna fill it out. So a single means that they don't get a discount at all. But if they buy two pairs, it'll be quantity of two and they're gonna get a 20% discount. Now, I've said here that it is two shorts for $60. Now, if they are buying two, we can actually just have it as an amount. So if we work out that two pairs together are $89.90, then we're gonna to have to take off. And so we'd need to put in something like $49.10 to round it down to that $60 mark, okay? Uh, now, obviously this doesn't really make profitable sense, but I'm just doing it for the demo here. All right, so that is pretty much the way we do it. And we can change anything here. So this wouldn't be 20% off. It would be, um, you know, 
So you just wanna make sure it makes sense to the user and you can sort of see how it is here. So hopefully that is pretty straightforward. Uh, we do the same thing, we click publish, we go through and we preview exactly the way we did it on all the other ones just to make sure it works. So you could see how quick I set up offers. I literally set up three offers in sort of under five minutes and we're able to test it, check in with customer service, preview it, do all that sort of stuff, and it works really well. And the cool thing is you can actually have these operate in between. So I like to have a free gift with purchase as well as a multi-buy, as well as a bundle, because it gives people more options to spend more with you. Plus you're also doing them a service by bundling things together and making it easy for them to buy with you. Now there's also one other little thing that I wanna show you, which is the AI side of things. Now this is in beta right now, but it is pretty cool. Uh, we've got this create with AI and basically what it does is it analyzes your historical orders and builds out a multi-buy or a bundle or a gift with purchase type discount for you. Now I have been playing around with it and it's sort of hit and miss whether it works perfectly or not, but it's definitely going to be an awesome feature because if it can analyze 50 orders to see what people buy and what they like, and then give you an idea of the type of offer to put in place, it's gonna be a game changer. So I highly recommend you keep an eye on that sort of thing to see when that pops up and how you can use it. So there you have it, guy. There's an app that's really gonna help you increase your average order value. So you don't have to go out there and find more customers. You just gotta get customers to spend more with you. And the cool thing is it's all in one. Now, if you missed the link, I've got it down below. It's gonna get you that seven day free trial, install it, give it a try. If you need a help, just contact the customer service. But I look forward to seeing you grow your Shopify stores. Now, if you do want a little bit more help, I've got some videos here that could be useful for you. And it's the videos that YouTube thinks that you are gonna want to watch next.